community and anyone else watching this, I'm back with another recent finds video. Hope everybody out there is doing well. Hello new subscribers, thank you so much. And um, I'm going to be doing, as well as recent finds, a few um, channel promos, three or four of people that um, I've been watching recently. That I'd like to give a little tiny boost up if I can in any way. And I'm going to start off with um, Matt, Sergeant Pepper 13, who was gone for a little while. He's back. He's got a great source for records right now, which is awesome. Great for him. And he showed a recent Beetle Finds video I watched this morning. And he picked up um, Ringo Starr's. Time Takes Time LP on vinyl, which I already have, right here, and um, the thing was, the standard version is green, and I have that, this is the reissue that came out last year, I think it was, and cool album, and in fact, in my last recent finds video, you will see this one which I bought a spare copy because it was really cheap. Well, he showed his, and his was red, which is the rare version of the Ringo album. And I bought this the same place he did. So what I'm going to do is open this sucker right now, if I can. And I'm going to find out if I've got a red one in here. I bought it originally just to keep it sealed and to have an extra. Um, plus Ringo's albums tend to go out of print. So, but, there, I've opened it. Let's find out if I too got a red one. I did. This makes me happy because, as I said, this is the rarer version. There's a red and a green, but the... Green is much more common than the red. So, Matt, Sergeant Pepper 13, thank you so much for letting me know about that. Even though I don't think you knew about it. Now I've got a red one. So, I'm very, very happy about that. Okay, on to the recent finds. There's a guy I talked about in my last video. His name is Giggins. Check Giggins out. He basically just does album reviews. But they're really good. He knows what he's talking about. He's a youngish guy. But he knows his stuff. And he's very likable. He makes great videos. And Giggins. G-I-G-G-E-N-S. Check him out. Anyway, he's got me into John, John Entwistle's solo. And this was the first one I saw that he reviewed. Smash Your Head Against the Wall. John, Ent John Entwistle, of course, basis for The Who. Kind of a morbid album, morbid cover. Um, he claims this is his own x-ray on the front. Other people claim it isn't. Um, <laughs> more morbidity in, in there. Anyway, I picked this up pretty cheap online. Original inner sleeve. And um, original copy on Decca. Really nice shape. And... Uh, very happy to have that. So again, Giggins, check him out. He's, I don't know how many followers he has, but he deserves to have about 10 times more than I do. So uh, anyway, John Entwistle, and thanks for that. Uh, Giggins loves this album, and um, I'm hoping I will too. I just got it, so I haven't played it yet. Okay, now, um, there's a place called Get Import CDs online. I talk about them all the time, and that's where I got the Ringo from. And they occasionally have sales, like 20% off sales if you spend 60 bucks. And on prices that are already really cheap. So the next seven albums I got for 70 bucks, including shipping. So shipped, no tax, no nothing, or $10 a piece. And um, this, I couldn't believe. I mean, this was not cheap, actually. 
but Pretty in Black, The Ravenettes, their second album. I never even knew this was out on vinyl. This is my favorite Ravenettes album. I love this thing to death. Out on vinyl. This was somewhere in the 20s. And still, this being in the 20s, still averaged out at 10 bucks a pop for these next albums. So the Ravenettes, this, they cover uh, My Boyfriend's Black Back. They've got a song called Ode to L.A., which actually has Ronnie Spector on it. Great song, but Love in a Trash Can is just fantastic. Love a little dancey little thing. Great song. Ravenette's second album. I've actually wanted this stuff on this album for a long time. I think Wax Time. Yeah, Wax Time put this out. Mamie Van Doren, Ooh La Baby Baby. Her rock and roll stuff is interesting. I'm not going to say it's good, but it's interesting. And I've always wanted it, and you just can't find it. And there, here it is. And I paid 10 bucks for it. And great picture of Mamie on the cover. Um, wow, there's 19 tracks on this thing. I mean, I paid this much for a four-song EP, which doesn't really have much rock and roll on it. I, this, this is... I can't wait. This just came, too. I can't wait to put this on. Great stuff. Of course, maybe, maybe Van Doren. B-movie star. Um, interesting personalities. It's really loungy kind of stuff. What she mostly does when she sings, but... This is, should be a little more rockin' in that loungy vein. Francois Hardy in English. This is some of her best hits uh, re-recorded in English. And again, um, love Francois Hardy. Probably the, one of the biggest, if not the biggest, French singer of the 60s. And I love French pop and... Uh, this should be really good. I paid 10 bucks just to get the single from this. And now I have the whole album for 10 bucks. Backbeat, the Backbeat soundtrack. Dave Grohl on this, um, Dave Pinner on this. Of course, the soundtrack from the movie about the Beatles. Rockin' versions of Beatle track. Well, rock and roll songs that the Beatles covered on here and some other things. And just... Pretty interesting rocking soundtrack, and uh, very, very happy to get that. Again, still 10 bucks. Cheap Trip woke up with a monster, released it on vinyl last year, the year before. Finally got a copy, only 10 bucks. These were actually all under 10 bucks because, again, you gotta average it out, but averaging them out, 10 bucks a piece. All new, of course. Now, there's someone else I need to mention. Um, I recently just discovered her. It's the Omaha introvert. Her name is Hannah. She's just recently, a couple months ago at most, started making vinyl videos. She's very articulate. She has great taste in music, as far as I'm concerned. Likes Big Star, likes everything you should like, including The Who. And, um, and some lounge, Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, that kind of stuff. So she's really cool, and um, check her channel out. She's already got over 100 subs, which is really good, but she deserves a lot more than that. Anyway, she ranked, um, in her latest, or second latest video, she ranked the Pete Townsend albums. And I told her I just found his first one at a thrift store, and I did. But then right after that... <laughs> found a nice reissue, again, get import CDs, average price 10 bucks, of Pete Townsend's Who Came First, nice reissue on track record, this should sound, if this sounds anything like the Who reissue sound, I cannot wait to hear it, because they did a fantastic job on those, and as well, Rough Mix, Pete Townsend and Ronnie Lane, now I have a copy of this, but it's not in perfect shape, this thing should sound amazing. I just couldn't believe they were just this cheap. So, really cool. Very happy with that. And that is my 7 for 70. 
And before that, before they were having any sort of deals, I bought um, three more records from Import CDs. And I missed out on this. Um, got to do another shout out here. Ron over at Hogsy Report, I think, showed this. And then I think I might have the order reversed. Then Randy <laughs> showed this. And um, I can never think of Randy's channel's name. Um, Deadwax66. Anyways, it is rhythm and soul, folk, blues, pop, and rock. It is Mustafa Ozkent. Genglik Il Nilu. I cannot pronounce that at all. Great album cover, intriguing, early electronic sort of music. There's he is and his collaborator on the back. And this may or may not be colored vinyl. Some are, some aren't. This said it was. So uh, let's crack it open and find out. If I can find a cutter here. I'm hoping if it is colored vinyl, it's really cool colored vinyl. I have seen it. But it could be black. Some are black, some are colored vinyl. And it's black. You cannot win them all. There you go. It is black vinyl, unfortunately. But I'm still just tickled to finally have this record. Like I said, I kept losing auctions for it and whatever. Finally got it. Just one of the best covers. If you had a, what's the best cover you have? Might be this now. This is just an awesome cover. Finally, again, import CDs. Not affiliated, just like them. Um, at a very good price, New Young Harvest Moon. Finally out on vinyl last record store day, and I managed to get a copy. This is, in my opinion, one of his top five best albums. And uh, love it to death. Chuck Berry, the singles collection. This has some stuff on it that's not that common. It's a three record set pressed on white vinyl. I'm not going to open it. This one I know is on white vinyl. And um, I don't know if you can see the track listing or not, but three si or six sides, A's and B's of all of his singles into the mid-60s. So, very cool there for Chuck. Love Chuck. And I did a small order with Pop Market too. They were having a sale and some interesting things. Robert Gordon and Link Ray, Cleveland, 78. These are all about 10 bucks too. Um, this one's going to be on a limited edition orange vinyl. Live Link Ray, of course, one of the best guitar players ever. Just fantastic. Robert Gordon, rockabilly singer out of Washington, D.C. There's the songs they did. And I'm hoping this is recorded well and a cool concert. I've always wanted this, just been intrigued by it. Been reissued. Picked it up for cheap. It's time for Tina. Tina Louise sings. <laughs> the songs of Tina Louise. Of course, Ginger on Gilligan's Island. There she is on the back singing her heart out. There's the track listing, and just a cool record, even if it's terrible, it's still a cool record, it's ginger. We need Mary Ann Sings next. And I picked this up just because you can never find a copy in decent shape because kids owned it and on their little portable turntables played the heck out of it. It's the first Archie's album. This may be on colored vinyl again, may not. I'm not going to open it right now and find out. I didn't buy it for that. Nice repro of pretty much everything. There's your track listings. Not that it's too dark to see, but... First Archie's album. Also, one more guy. Tommy Burton. Tommy Burton puts out really cool videos. But he also started a second channel called um, Daily Video. 
Now these things are generally under five minutes long, so anybody has time to watch him. He does a really short album review of albums from every genre all over the place, and it's worth checking out. And sometimes I feel like I'm the only one watching it. So check out Tommy Burton's Daily Records. You will like it. He's knowledgeable, personable, and he makes really great videos. So Tommy Burton's Daily Record. If I plugged everybody, I think I have. If I haven't plugged you, I'm sorry. Hey, I'll plug another one. I just finished watching George or George's Joe's, um, me, Mr. Mayo's, um, George Harrison birthday live chat. That's where I've just come from. So it is George Harrison's birthday as I'm making this. Happy birthday, George! And everybody, check out my podcast, snapcracklepop.podomatic.com. I hope everybody is. Getting through this horrible winter. <laughs> Can't wait for spring. Um, hope everybody's having a good weekend. And I'm going to be making more videos as soon as I can. We'll see how that goes. But anyway, thanks for watching this one. And uh, check out all those people. They're awesome. Take care, everybody. Bye.